been rapping since I was like 13, 22 now, so y'all could do the math on that. What's up? It's your boy Kurt the Ruler. I'm here at All Bars Matter, and I'm going to explain the lyrics to Family Man. I ain't even gonna lie, I realized I could put bars together. I was in one studio session with my homies and I was just the producer of the session. And um, I just had, I just had to throw a verse on there because the beat was that dope. I just felt like I had to do something to it. Took it home, stayed overnight trying to learn how to mix and edit it. And then here I am, making beats. I started, um, I actually have a very crazy track where we were making beats. I started like officially, officially making beats probably like three years ago taking it serious. I worked with artists as far as like Rico Havoc, Fetty Watts producer, um, artists all over Philly, Chicago, Texas. I'm just global with it, just on the production aspect. Let's get to the facts. I jig in the day. The stool's a trap. I ain't have a job since like 20 at that. Just give me three days, I pop up with a stack. I hit the mall, spend your whole income tax. Buy what I want, you know I get it back. So basically what that's talking about is me doing some real regular life, buying whatever I feel like. I'm always in the studio because I don't have a job. So that's just my real life. I'm giving it to them the first verse of the song. So basically even that, the trap is where I make my money. That's the studio. It's not a trap. I record everyone in Philly. That's where I make the most of my money and my ability. Spending people's income tax, I've, I'm pretty much, even around this income tax, I didn't even get to touch it yet because the studio was flooded. So that's where that bar of the line really comes from in the story as far as me even just working to even be here right now. Ain't no sympathy. You can't get around me if you is not ganging. I don't feel energy. I lost me some friends because they let money change how they see and they think of me. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably be dead in a cemetery. But I peep all y'all moves is chestnut checkered. I went through a time in my life where I was given I was given opportunity to be a father. And I had a bunch of friends that used to run around with me. And after a while, I started putting more focus from being out of the studio into like being there for my kids. And people started just like dropping like flies left and right, left and right, to the point where I felt like they didn't want me to do what was best for me. It was about what was benefiting them. So that's where that line kind of stems from. I put my time in the hustle and I get a bag for that. Take care of my kids and my brothers, they see I'm a family man. Don't you ever cross that line where my family stands. A lot of people take a lot of people take family for granted nowadays as far as even crossing the line where they stand, talking on things they shouldn't be talking on, making statements that shouldn't be made. Even the first line, I put my time into hustling. I don't indulge any time into nothing that has to do with me getting paid at all because it's probably nonsense. All the times I went goes just know why I've been working. Used to sit around and smoke all day and talk about nothing. All my kids, I never let my shorties down. They'll never need for nothing. So basically, um, I used to like, it was a point in my life, I probably was like 17, 18. I used to just sit on my mom's steps with my homies. We used to just smoke all day, procrastinating, not making no moves, not doing nothing. And after a while, once I stopped talking to like a couple friends, just like changing my life around, people probably was left with the, the question on the head, like, yo, where is Kurt? Like, what is Kurt doing? He not answering nobody phone calls, it up, but the whole time it's like, I'm putting my time where I'm getting paid because I got to provide for two kids. So, you know, like those watching, they may understand, but family man come first. We came from rags to riches. I used to see big ass rats in the kitchen, oven on four and it's open fuck millions. We ain't had no heat, ain't no way we could get it. I speak for the struggle, we hustle for millions. No nine to five, make your rent off the gram and your mortgage on Twitter. Um, I'm pretty much the guy that makes money off of Instagram all year round. Like pulling in clients from studios to marketing for people to probably selling beats to someone in a whole nother state. I take advantage of that. The internet is here so we're able to use it, but take the genius to really maximize off of it. Rats from the kitchen line, um, I ain't gonna lie, like we, I ain't having the best upbringing though, but from Brooklyn, New York, mom dukes and them, we, we dealing with roaches, rats, centipedes, whatever you could call it, waking up next to them as if they was your roommates. Um, oven on forest, open fuck mittens. Like it's, it's many times, like December came around, like me and my other brothers, we was like, we had the, the heat cut off cause wasn't no cash flow coming in from my pops. So it was more so like, 
this is what it was. Mom had to man up. We had to man up too, but we had to deal with the circumstances that came with it. Times I said, no, I bet that child will remember, but what about times I came through for the game? Now it's just me and my twins in this life, and it's word to my mom, you, you move wrong, you get changed. So I was always that person that was coming through for everybody. Like everybody I was coming through, yo, Kurt, can you do this for me? Can I hold that? And I was the person that really was doing it. And after, like I said, after I bring my daughters into this world and I started saying, nah, can't do it right now. I ain't got it. People stopped calling my phone. People stopped messing with me. People started taking it like a whole nother way. But then again, this is what come with the game. All I got now is my blood and my word because my money is there and it came with the name. Y'all could be doing the same thing, but y'all rather hate us to shame. Um, even so, like, I get a lot of criticism on like the way I the way I do like handle my business the way I move, and people rather rather than pick your brain and see where what it took to get you where you at. A lot of people just would rather just hate on you, you know what I mean? I never really understood that, but I'm trying to kind of break the curse in, in that type of matter. For my daughters, every day I gotta get it. Must stay focused. I can't let them catch me slipping. This is not a game. It's children. You're killing children. So. That's pretty self-explanatory, but you know, I love my kids. So it was more so like, even with the message in this song, like my daughters is the reason that I'm even here. I go hard for my daughters. Um, it's children killing children out here. A lot of people don't pay any mind, but it's because we get raised by children. The old heads not really old heads. And it's gonna take some real people to understand that. So don't let that go over your heads. And that's how Casanova is saying it, right? <laughs> um, even just the whole family man track concept, I want I want family man to be able to spread a message that it's not it's not a bad thing to put your priorities first and then put whatever is not that important last. A lot of people just feel like they got come through for their niggas, they got to do all this stuff, and then they end up losing their families and don't see how. They might look at it like, yo, my BM tripping, she doing this, she don't want me to do this, but whole time, if you're not taking care of home, how can you be able to take care of anything? That's what people got to understand. So that's the concept of Family Man, that's the message, and that's to all the stand-up guys out there, keep doing your thing, and that's a wrap. All right, it's your boy, uh, Kurt the Ruler. I'm here at All Bars Matter. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm